In this chapter, we're going to take a look at the front end and the back end of our website and show you how it's set up. What you'll notice first, probably, for those of you who are familiar with sort of out-of-the-box Drupal installations, is that we've set up the home page as a single welcome page, a single node. Uh, it's not the usual sort of river of news kind of um, blog-looking website that Drupal comes with out of the box and certainly other blogging software comes with out of the box uh, but we've set up Drupal so that the home page setting um, is is set to a single content item and that's what shows when you get to the home page of the site we also have a news section of the site um, which is actually is this sort of river of news kind of thing um, we could have called this section of the site blog um, or something like that but uh, um, we're calling it news and it's got posts could be by different users actually these are by different users um, and currently we've got the site just filled out with uh, lorem ipsum gobbledygook <laughs> text to just sort of show this example site um, I should also know we've got blocks on the side here uh, there's the user login block, which Drupal comes with from, from Core. We've also got uh, a newsletter block here, um, which is being created by the Simple News module. Uh, our press releases page also is sort of that river of news style, but we've got some extra fields. Uh, we've got a contact field and a uh, dateline field for each of our uh, press releases. Um, and then we've got the contact page, which is Drupal's core contact module. Um, and you can choose the category or uh, enter in your name and email. Right now, I'm not logged into the site. Uh, one of Drupal's really greatest strengths is that uh, it has a, a very finely grained permission system uh, with different roles for different users. And, uh, and if we log into the site, uh, I'll log in just as an employee to start with. we get some new permissions. Um, so when I go back to the home page, it looks pretty much the same, um, except I now have this, this block here, which is called the user block, um, or the navigation block, um, shows my user name, um, and I can click here to go to my account page. I can go to the create content page, we'll go there in a minute, or the administer page, we'll go there in another minute, and the newsletter block gets customized with my information for me. Um, but probably mostly of note is that I now have these gallery and internal memos links. Um, these pages are permissioned so that only users with the employee role are able to see our photo gallery. Maybe we have party pictures on here that we don't want everyone in public seeing. Uh, we don't have anything too risque here, but uh, you know, could happen. Uh, we also have an internal memos page. This is sort of a the company intranet, but it's actually part of uh, the the regular public facing site. It's not a separate website. We're using the private module, uh, which uses Drupal's node access system. Um, there are several different modules that use the node access system uh, to sort of hide content in different ways. We're using the private module. It's a super simple module uh, for this. Um, I'm going to go back to the home page. I'm going to log out and log in uh, with as, as an administrator. Actually, I'll log in as, as user ID 1. Uh, this is the first user. So the first user, when you create a website, uh, in the process, a Drupal website, in the process you create the, the first user. This is what we call the Drupal super user, and they have access to everything on the site. Anytime Drupal is asking about access, uh, if the user is user ID 1, uh, then the, the first user, then they have permission. So now that we're logged in as user one, uh, the admin user, that user has, user one on this site has the username of admin. Uh, I'm gonna go to the administer section of the site and go to the master administration page for Drupal. This is located at slash admin, uh, and you can oftentimes get there even if you don't have a, uh, a link to that set up on the front end of your site. Um, 
you can just go to slash admin if you're logged in and have the right permissions and you'll get this kind of a page. We're using Garland as the uh, administration theme for our site so it makes it really clear when we're in the front end of the site or the back end of the site because the whole back end uh, is all uh, Garland uh, looking pages. Um, this page uh, you can view either by module here, which is really good when you uh, turn on a new module. You can see all of your uh, listings and the different permissions or help pages uh, for the different modules. Um, but normally it shows by task, uh, which organizes things into these different, these different groupings. We have a grouping for content management. Um, to th this is the uh, links for uh, setting up uh, how your content is managed on the site and, and uh, um, things like um, adding CCK fields and um, comment administration and, and stuff like that are all sort of here. Um, settings for how things are posted um, as well as categorization, taxonomy, stuff like that. Uh, site building uh, says right here, control how your site looks and feels. Uh, which includes sort of what goes where, where things are arranged, uh, the functionality of the site. Uh, this is where you turn on and off modules, which define functionality for your site. This is where you set up the navigation menus for your site. Um, this is where you uh, choose which blocks uh, show up where on your website. Um, blocks are these sidebar content uh, pieces here. Um, user management. Is, is here if you need to create new users or set up uh, what permissions users have. Drupal has really finely grained um, permissions for and, and roles for users. You set up roles here as well. Uh, there's some settings for um, how, how Drupal interfaces with the users and uh, stuff like that's right here. Uh, we also have the site configuration. Um, this video we're really focusing on um, administering an existing site. So if you're given a website, um, it's probably been configured already. Uh, and this is mostly one-time setup kinds of stuff um, that sets up things like whether clean URLs are enabled for your site or whether there is an administration theme uh, and what theme that would be. Um, a lot of the um, just one-time setting kinds of things are, are in, in the settings menu here. Uh, and then you have your reports section. Uh, which can show you a lot of useful information about your site. Um, it'll show uh, error logs, um, search logs. Any, any module in Drupal can create its own logging system, uh, and, uh, and you can view all those logs here. You can see what people have searched for and, uh, and stuff like that. And there's a couple of different, different ways that that works here. You can find um, page not found errors in case uh, you have a page that's been moved or is linking incorrectly. So uh, that's the administration page. Uh, you, you also might have noticed by now um, that we have uh, this menu up at the top of the page, these drop down menus uh, that work a lot like Mac or Windows drop down menus. Uh, this is a module called admin menu uh, that we're using. This is a really quick way to get to a lot of these. Uh, links from anywhere on your site, any page on your site, you can get to these. If I go to the home page of the site, for instance, now I'm on the front end of the site, but I can still get to a lot of the back end links really quickly. If I wanted to uh, create a new user, I could go right here and click add a user just like that, and I could get to the add user page. Um, that's really handy and nice. Um, another thing to note is this admin block. Uh, I clicked on the administer link. You can also click uh, create content here and it'll take you to, again, sort of the back end page um, that allows you to create uh, the different content types that we have uh, created um, for the website and also the ones that I have permission for. Again, I'm logged in as user one, so I have permission for everything now, but we'll log in as, as different users and show you how that kind of changes. Um, this menu, this, this block uh, that says admin here, um, sometimes referred to as the admin block, sometimes referred to as the user block, sometimes referred to as the navigation menu, uh, um, changes uh, with, with user permissions and actually shows the username at the, at the top of the block. Um, but it, it's the link to uh, my account here that we can click uh, and, and it'll take you to, so whatever user is logged in, it'll take them to their, their account page.
uh, the user login page. And I have tabs here again. Uh, if I lost my password, I can request a new password. If I uh, want to create a new account, if that's enabled on the site uh, for people to create accounts, I can do that here too. So that's an overview of the Drupal administration structure and a lot of the interface conventions that you need to understand in working with Drupal. We'll delve a lot deeper into these topics throughout this video.